This is Rod Kusin and Spooman for Risk for January 5th, 2017. All times on the chart are Central Standard Time. Uh, today we had our first yellow day pattern of the year. Now, what is a yellow day pattern? It's easier to see this on a five minute chart, but a yellow day pattern takes the form of a V. All right. Imagine you're coming down to this pivot and then going back up. Yellow day pattern that is up forms a V. A yellow day pattern that is down uh, forms an inverted V. V is in Victor. Now what is characteristic about the yellow day pattern is that uh, typically uh, a yellow day pattern will form uh, with the lows in the mid morning to midday. We have most frequently seen yellow day patterns form out of the mid uh, middle of the day, just in that 12 to 1230 uh, time frame. Uh, at least last year that seemed to be that way. But uh, this is the first one of this year, and it formed just before 11 o'clock. It completed the uh, move down and then started moving back up. Now, if you had your market profile set properly, you may have noticed uh, where that low was going to be right there at around 54. Uh, now, the subject matter, however, is was there anything to give us a heads up that this might, in fact, occur? Now, if this is going to happen, of course, one of the first things that has to take place is the trend has to change. We feel that a trend is pretty well verified uh, as changing after a six-point move from the pivot. About a six-point move uh, constitutes a trend uh, change in, in our estimation. And so from this low, from, 60, uh, from 54, uh, we'd have to move up to 2260. And that takes place uh, right in here. Okay. So that would constitute a trend change. Then we have a nice uh, bounce off of this uh, projected uh, standard deviation line off of the IB and then we start to move up. So the question is did the premium forecast this change? And the answer is yes it did. Let's show you where. Now as you quickly scan through the premium that bar right there deserves proper evaluation. This is a 20 second chart so it's a little slow and you really can't tell whether this is a naked bar. If you don't know what a naked bar is, uh, give us a call. We'll explain that. But uh, on a 20 second chart this shows up as a naked bar but on a 5 second chart that proves uh, to be incorrect. This is not a naked bar. If it was, alright, then that high, all right, that naked bar would be forecasting a return to 22.63.25. But as it turns out, as I mentioned, that's not a naked bar. We can tell when we look at a five second chart. So is there anything that, that takes place prior to the low that gives us a, a, a reason to think that this is going to be going back up? The answer is still yes, but it's not on the ES premium. It's on the YM premium, and the bar is right here. And this is a naked bar. This is a naked bar. And this is forecasting a return on the 
YM to 19821. So if we put in, we'll just leave it there at 22. So after we drop down to the low, we see this market continues to climb and it doesn't come back okay it doesn't come back until we've well past the six point move on the ES it almost makes it in here when the ES is at 62 but it doesn't even happen there it doesn't happen until here and by now the ES is at 63 so we had a very significant uh, move back up forecast not by the ES premium but the YM premium and of course this real big bar let's go back here So you had another real clear buy going on here and then another buy program going on in here really spikes this thing up and up she goes and, and of course this too is a naked bar but now now as you see the uh, ES premium has really moved up um, now we start seeing more more buying going on uh, evident in the premium so it was right there for everybody to see all you had to do is know how to read it and you could have you could have seen a support area at 54 with a market profile composite market profile and taking the ride back up you've got divergence in here real nice divergence uh, in the premium in here and just continue to walk this thing right back up uh, all the way uh, to the high now another thing that I forgot to mention pardon me uh, the typical yellow day pattern if you've got a yellow day pattern up the highs of the day will be higher than the morning high and almost invariably happens in the last half hour. So going back to our, our chart here. Highs of the day exceed the high of the morning. That was at 65.25. Okay. Now we didn't quite make it during the uh, uh, regular market hours. It got real close though within a quarter of a point. But the typical pattern would be to exceed the morning high and in the last half hour which is of course what you see happening here. So this is this is classic yellow day and you had a nice forecast of that return uh, with the YM premium. Beautiful beautiful pattern. In the course that we teach, we show you how to read the pattern, what it means, what to expect from it, and how it can be forecast before it occurs. You need to know how to read the premium to do that, and that's our strong suit. That's what we teach. So uh, it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful pattern here. Now. Just uh, from the standpoint of support, we knew that 54 was a, a, a good, uh, there was a very good chance that we were going to hit that once we broke through the previous area of support. Now here's a, a kind of a breakdown of the uh, market, the, the uh, composite market profile that was being used uh, today. And uh, you could see 54 and a quarter down here 
uh, once we broke through the 5575 area, which I kind of thought we probably wouldn't get much beyond that, but uh, sure enough, we dropped a little further. And uh, then at 54 and a quarter, that's where we bounced and started to head right back up. So just a, just a beautiful, beautiful pattern there. Now let's look at the premium before we conclude. So just uh, focusing in on this uh, one hour period between 10 and 11 o'clock where the pivot takes, takes place. Uh, you can see the divergence on the premium, the oversold condition uh, being uh, illustrated here on the premium. Nice step up on the premium. Um, several bars uh, continuing to forecast the move down and then real strong divergence at the negative 658 there at the pivot point, negative 658. So um, higher than this level here at negative 660. So big strong divergence there at the bottom, which is uh, very typical of what we expect to see. So there you had it, and uh, big bar on the uh, YM really forecasting the return uh, to a, uh, a long trend forecast. Uh, shortly after 10 o'clock, uh, the low takes place uh, right around 10.45ish, and then we take off. So more than, uh, more than a half an hour in advance, uh, we were able to forecast a uh, reversal, uh, a trend reversal, because that would, would require a trend reversal to get back up here. And that's exactly what it, what it did. The premium gave us the uh, details uh, to know that. So well worth your time to learn how to do this. I'm Rod Kusinen. Spoo man for risk.